as the blood pulsing from my womb as it is, as it is laid upon my breast. I'd rather not have a public birth. All this blood and birth fluid spilling onto the floor, seeping into this aged carpet, and doing nothing to change the hue of this black back state. It's bright light illuminating both my joy and my sorrow. I'd rather not bring a poem into the world in this public place. But when you think about it, it's not much different than all these public deaths. Does the blood of black skin leave a stain on black asphalt? Or only on the white walls of a mother's blood drained heart? Black on black on black death in the suburbs, the city, the streets, the prisons, the projects, the parks, drug houses, houses, alleyways, cars, apartment buildings, houses on the hill. Any place black skin lives, works, plays, struggles to survive, death haunts it. Public birth followed by public death seems appropriate somehow. Perhaps I should smother this new life now. And you could avoid the second bloodletting and the screams in the dark by dark people dying in the light of public, but no one stands up for them. <clears throat> I reach it out to say them. Right here in this country, we won't claim. Even though our blood fell the soil from which it grew rich, our loins bore the flavor of its birth. It suckled at our breath and grew strong with the nutrients of our body. Perhaps if we took this damn, this damn land of sour milk and crystallized honey, perhaps if we snatched it by the collar, made it ours, and raised it in the village of our black love, there would be fewer public births and no public deaths of my dark people in the dark days of this land.